It is once again time for another encounter with religion. I remember having a discussion in a video a while back where all of us on one side of an issue were told we were going to hell. Now, of course, there is the usual issue that this person would like to see you tortured forever, as well as the travesty of justice this would represent, but that's not where I'm going with this. I'm going to be talking about how utterly ridiculous the whole idea is to begin with. The first problem is the fire. Fire is just a rapid form of oxidation. It is a chemical process. You need the chain reaction of combustion in order to get fire. You need heat, an oxidizing gas such as oxygen, and fuel. So how exactly is that supposed to work in this immaterial spirit realm? So hell has oxygen? Oh, right, it's special magic fire. If your dead body is on Earth, and it's just your soul there, then how does that burn? I don't think you can burn something that is immaterial. Okay, so no fire and no burning, as that's obviously impossible. So maybe they torture you some other way. Well, it's hard to feel pain without your body. You need a brain and nervous system for that, so it seems like torture wouldn't really work. You have to wonder why that would even be something done in a spirit realm, when pain is just a survival trait that came about through evolution. The whole reason it exists is to motivate one to stay out of danger, which is vital to surviving and passing on our genes. That's also the reason why dying seems so bad. It's another survival trait. It's also the reason why, if it weren't for social convention, we would fuck like bonobos every chance we got. That, of course, is one of the main reasons you were said to end up in a place like hell. So, because of one evolutionary survival trait, another evolutionary survival trait will be used against us for infinity. This, of course, uh, requires body parts that aren't present because we are dead at that point with no body at all. It's also done with a chemical reaction requiring our non-existent body for fuel, a heat source, and oxygen. You may also need something else combustible to get the fire going. So, we have a place where everything works like the natural world, even though it can't be that way because it's in some spirit realm. So, all I can do is laugh when someone tells me that I'm going to a place that sounds like it was invented by a sociopathic child whose main hobbies are playing with mercury and lead paint. <laughs> 